During my time as governor, the judge took as their major initiative the promotion of citizenship and civic understanding and values throughout the Commonwealth. And mostly as she traveled around, she talked to high school kids. And when my time in office ended, we talked about what we wanted to do post Harrisburg. And we both agreed that civics and imbuing our kids with a sense of what our government's about, what the political system is about, how it runs, how it needs to be changed. That, that was a worthwhile project but we thought starting at the high school level was a little too late we wanted to make an impact on kids in their formative stages so we decided to make the main effort of the rendell center at elementary school kids there were a number of people who heard this and said no no elementary school kids aren't going to understand they're not going to be interested in it well we found exactly the opposite is true if you t teach kids about our government, they'll respond. The center has succeeded, in my judgment, beyond either of our wildest expectations or hopes. This is a labor of love for us. Our literature-based mock trials offer students the opportunity to deepen their understanding of the work of literature while learning about the judicial system. The mock trial is an effective learning tool. It helps students develop confidence, critical thinking skills, teamwork, and communication skills, in addition to increasing a student's proficiency in basic skills such as reading, writing, speaking, analyzing, listening, and reasoning all in an interactive and engaging environment. As a federal judge and grandmother, there's nothing more amazing than to see the young eyes of a fifth grader light up as he or she approaches the witness stand to question a witness or as they work on a script. If you're a teacher or a lawyer, I encourage you to join us on the literature-based mock trial journey. It is a rewarding experience. Just as reading a book opens a world for a student, a mock trial will open additional worlds in terms of content and experience. Some people have said that elementary students cannot understand some of the concepts of rule of law, presumption of innocence, burden of proof, rights and responsibilities, justice and authority. But the Rendell Center's work with these young students has shown that this is not the case, and the early years are the perfect time to explore these concepts, so that when they're older, they understand the role that a jury serves and the precious rights and responsibilities that we enjoy in the United States. It is astounding how much our youngest citizens already know and how much more they want to learn. And our literature-based mock trial provides a perfect, unique learning opportunity. My name is Jackson Hart and this is Miko Carpinello. We are here with students from Kinwood Elementary School and they have come to talk about term limits. The fifth grade challenge group strongly thinks that there should be term limits imposed on Congress and Supreme Court justices. Let's talk to some of the students and hear their thoughts. Joel, what do you think about imposing term limits? I think we should definitely have term limits because new people can mean new ideas which will help improve our country. And do you also support term limits, Gwen? I think we must impose term limits. It will make people work harder and make the most of their time in office if they only have a limited time to serve. 
And what do you feel is the most important reason for amending the Constitution to impose term limits, Gabe? I think we should impose term limits because the balance of power requires it. If the president has term limits, why shouldn't Congress and Supreme Court justices? Shouldn't they have the same amount of power? To share our message and let our voices be heard, we will now perform a song. Come, come forward, we're going to ask you some questions. So who, who wrote the essay and came up with these references? All of you. Wow. Which reference did you think was the most helpful? You cited three references here. Do you, do you remember which one was the best? New people, new ideas. New people, the one that talked about new people and new ideas. Okay. And it was these ideas. That's a great idea, the balance of power. If the president is term limited and we've got three branches, why not the other two branches? That makes some sense. Who wrote the lyrics to this song? Um, Ayla and I mean, everybody. When you, you made the um, point uh, that uh, when you're up there, that uh, if there were term limits, the pe pe people, congressmen, would work harder in their last year to get things done. I can tell you by my own experience as governor, I worked as hard, maybe harder in my eighth year than I did in my first year, which is the hardest I worked, because I felt that I had only 12 months to get things done that I really wanted to get done, and time was running out. So that point is, is very well made. You guys did a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, for too long, the focus has been on getting our youngsters to vote when they turn 18. But the problem is we haven't taught them before that uh, how valuable the right to vote is and how valuable their citizenship is. Uh, I've been privileged to work with students who are younger than 18, and I really love working with the elementary school students, teaching them who they are, that they have a role in our society as a citizen, and they get very excited about it when they're young because it helps build their knowledge about who they are in their community and they get to hear their voice. All too often our grade school children are taught to the test and they're taught that something's right or wrong, there's a right or wrong answer. But when you ask them about the law, the Constitution, you bring them into the courtroom and tell them about it, the government and they express their views and they hear their voice, there is no right or wrong answer and they can contribute and have ideas that are valuable and sometimes they have the best ideas. They're not jaded, they are really creative and they use a lot of common sense. Yeah.